First of all, this goes way back. When we did our research, this is, goes way back. Back in the 50s, they did a research around the world of all these waters where thousands of people have been going for thousands of years because it helped them. Now, just so you know, when I saw this the first time, I knew it was somewhat of a true story because when my mom and my aunt go there, they bring me back a Madonna with water from Lourdes. I have it in my house. It's on the second floor. It's on the altar. I have water from Lourdes. And if you're Catholic, you know about it. Okay? So what I'm telling you, there's seven of them, by the way. All right? Well, when they checked all these waters out, they discovered that all of these waters had what they call active hydrogen. That's why when you first pour the water in a clear cup, you can sort of see bubbles. They don't go up. They don't go down. They don't disappear. They just sort of stay there and stare at you, you know? Okay? So they're, today it's known as alkaline water. So this company in Japan, I'm going to fast forward this because there's a story in between there. But it landed up in Japan. Let's get to that part. A company, a couple of decades later, built units that produce these waters. You're drinking it. And it's a little bit better, as a matter of fact. Here's the three things it has. Antioxidant, microcluster, alkaline. I knew nothing about any of these. when I, I kind of knew about antioxidant. All right. So, but let me show you some of the things about it. Number one, the property when the unit go, when the water, when normal tap water, regular tap water goes through this machine, it turns it. One of the properties on the when it comes out, the water you're drinking has antioxidant. And by the way, the highest antioxidant liquid that we've been able to find on the planet. All right. Um, if you don't know what oxidation is, that's what wreaks havoc in your DNA system. Okay. That's what everybody. And as a matter of fact, um, if you don't know, if you take an avocado, like tomorrow, like a day like today, cut it in half, put it in your kitchen table, go shopping, come back. You will know what oxidation is. And if you don't believe the avocado, go get a banana, he'll tell you the same thing, okay? <laughs> so, so will lettuce. Let it, you know, it turns brown. It's called oxidation. Well, that and that, okay, oxidation and living tissue always equal this. Sickness and aging. As a matter of fact, you want to slow the aging process down, slowing down oxidation will slow this down faster than anything you can do. Wow. Now, I'm not an engineer, but this unit, when the water goes through it, it filters it, it charges it, it splits it. You can read about it, all right? And it's got some kind of technology in here that makes it the highest antioxidant liquid we've been able to find. I'll show you what we looked at. Okay. Also, it's anti-inflammatory. That's why it helps with gout. That's why it helps with inflammation issues. That's why it helps people that have some kind of like edema. It really helps them out. And it's anti-aging. It's got anti-aging properties. It actually has the ability to slow down the aging process. Why? Because the water, as you'll see in number two, has the ability to get to your cells and clean them. And healthy cells always produce healthy cells. All right, here. I knew nothing about this. And I see several doctors here that are good friends of mine. There's doctors all over the room, all right? And they know about this. I never knew anything about this. Here, this is what we checked, though. The worst one we found is soda. For the things you ingest, that's the worst one. It's plus 400 in oxidation. It's one of the fastest things that oxidizes. But you know, if you want to get old fast, drink a lot of soda. You'll get there first. You win. All right? if you, or if you want to be like one of my cousins who's been drinking soda morning, night, before she sleeps, when she wakes up all day long. Uh, a couple of years ago, they had to, uh, every one of her toes to, to operate to straighten them out. Why? I don't know. It's, maybe it's acidic. I have no clue. I'm not a doctor. But again, that's the worst one we found. Sports drinks, some of the tap water you, we've been led to believe that's supposed to be good for us. We found out. You read the news. Now, if you take a meter and go here, it goes to plus. If you go to vitamin C, it goes to negative 50 approximately in antioxidant. Green tea is right there. Look at that. About negative 80 somewhere. You have, you have all the berries here. And then the highest one we found is called cod liver oil. You know what? If you could drink a pitcher of cod liver oil every day, it's very good for you, OK? <laughs> you, you'll probably slip and slide everywhere, but it's good for you, all right? now. Take a look at, take a look at uh, Kangen water. 
It goes all the way from negative 300, negative 400, I've seen it as high as negative 7 and 800 in antioxidant. That's the highest one we've found. There's nothing higher than that. What you're drinking right there. And it's great tasting because all it is is water. So again, that's the first thing. The second property it has, and I was talking to a nutritionist this last week for some of the major sports teams out there who's talking to me about hydration. And I'm finally starting to really understand this. Microcluster. The water is microcluster. In other words, you're drinking tiny water. And when I first heard that, I said, you know, what are you, nuts? I asked Dr. Lee, Dr. Lee, there's big water and small water? You know, because he's an MIT PhD and all that, right? And he goes, yeah, of course. There's big wa you're telling me there's big water and small water. And he said, there's all different sizes of waters. As a matter of fact, you've made small water before. And I went, OK, what are you talking about? He goes, have you ever boiled a pan of water? Right? Have you ever boiled a pan of water and left the room and forget about it? And you came back and you were cooking nothing but a pan? Where do you think the water went? As you heat water, by the way, it gets smaller and smaller. Then it becomes something called steam. And steam will disappear. Well, the water you're drinking is microcluster water. It has the ability to penetrate you at a cellular level. Let me tell you what happens when you drink the water. It hydrates your brain in approximately 30 to 60 seconds. That's why some people, when you first drink it, you think you have a headache. You get a head rush. Okay? You don't have a headache. It hydrates your brain in 30 to 60 seconds. Second, it has the ability to touch every part of your skin in approximately 10 minutes or so. Look what it did for my skin. It's unbelievable. You should see what it's doing to all the skin of my friend's uh, uh, teenage daughters who, uh, and, and sons who had really bad acne down in San Diego, up in San Francisco. You ought to see their skin after 30 to 60 days. It's because of the water. The water has the ability here. This is the best way for me to explain it to you, OK? Let's say you were at the baseball field, and there was a chain link fence. And you threw baseballs at it. It's going to come back. It can't go through the fence. If you took some BBs, it's going to go through it. This water that you're drinking has the ability to penetrate you, and it's unbelievable water. And by the way, water, this one, you know, I knew about this, but not like I know about it today, right? You know, take a look at this. That's the most important thing here. See, we're taught that, yeah, we're all water and all this. Let me tell you what I wasn't taught, all right? How you flush this right here, this machine, will determine how it ages and what it gets and how it performs. Well, you know, it's sort of common sense. Have you ever seen two people that own the same exact vehicle, same year? Have you ever seen two vehicles? One owner took care of it, one owner did not. OK? Have you ever seen two yards or two homes in the same neighborhood? One took taken care of, one not. OK? I mean, what I'm trying to tell you is it's common sense, all right? If you have a car and you change the oil every 3,000 miles, it will last longer and perform better as it ages. If you have an aquarium and you change the, the water every month instead of every year, the fish will probably live longer, all right? <laughs> You know, anything you flush will be cleaner. Question, what are you flushing this with? Because we're not taught that, all right? And, and by the way, it is the most important thing in your body. And then the last thing is, wow, this one I had no clue about, alkaline. Let me tell you this. When Dr. Carpenter first put this up there, or George <laughs> put this, I thought he was talking about batteries. The first thing that went into my mind was, was Duracell. Ever ready. Even the batteries I buy at Costco, they're called Kirkland. They say alcohol. That's the first time I've ever seen this, this word. I'm not educated like my partners. I have partners, Dr. Zia. They're all like PhDs. You know, they're, you know, they're letters. They have, they have letters all over their offices. I don't have anything. I have like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jackson, <laughs> Michael Jordan, you know, uh, Tiger Woods. That's my, I do have a PhD, by the way, okay? Don't, don't get me wrong. It's a public high school diploma, okay? <laughs> That's the truth, okay? Now, when I saw alkaline, I've never, I didn't know body had alkaline and all this, but let me show you what I found out in two years, okay? And, um, by the way, all the information I'm going to be giving you is accurate. You can Google it. 
all the information will come back the same. You can go to the library, the information will come back. You can ask some of the doctors, they'll all tell you basically the same things, okay? Let me show you what I've learned. Alkaline in your body always equals health. I never knew that. That's why my new cards say, you know, alkaline in the back, okay? Acid in your body always equals sickness. I never knew that. Uh, we want, why? Because that's where they thrive, that's where they grow, that's what activates them, okay? Acid is what causes all the problems, right here. Now here's another thing I found out. Um, human disease cannot survive in an alkaline state. It's like trying to plant an orchid in the North Pole. It ain't going to happen, all right? Here's another thing. When a child's first born, they're alkaline. I never knew that. We wanted to find out why. Because the mom's ambionic fluid is alkaline, pure alkaline. And guess what? The child is in there for nine months. When they come out, they're alkaline. When a human being dies, they're acidic. Now, I'm going to say this one more time. When you're born, when you die, that is called a clue. <laughs> you want to go here. Here, when I, think about this. When a young person cuts themselves or scrapes themselves, they heal faster. When an old person cuts themselves or, heal, you know, or scrapes themselves, they heal slower. Old people never have energy. They're always young people. Anybody here have kids or grandchildren? You know, when are you going to go to sleep? Go upstairs. Quit running around the house. Where are you getting all this energy? Geez, where are you? Would you please sit down for just one minute? Anybody here? They're like ping pong balls. <laughs> Why? They're alkaline. Now, when you drink this water, the energy you get is unbelievable. But don't believe me. Documentation always beats conversation. How many people in the room, honestly, ever since you've been drinking the, this water, you're sleeping 100% better and your energy has gone through the roof on a daily basis? Raise up your hand. Check it out. Check it out. The rest of you are brand new and tired. <laughs> the wa this water is really weird. It's like drinking Red Bull. It gives me energy. If I don't sleep, you know, if I'm going to get two hours sleep, I drink this before I sleep or when I wake up, the energy is unbelievable. Also, here's another thing, okay? For me, I'm going to say this for me, okay? But I, I, I know a lot of people also. If you drink a little bit of wine or maybe some champagne, let's not say a little bit. Let's just say over, overdid it, okay? <laughs> You drink one cup of this, one small cup of this like this before you sleep. The next day, you don't have a hangover. You don't have it. I didn't. How many people here, it happened? I mean, it's, it's the weirdest thing. I've never seen any. That's really weird water, man. All right? So, so again, that's the next part. Oh, by the way, I want to tell you this. We also wanted to find out, I wanted to find out what is the... You know, what is the worst thing that's happened in the United States as far as causing, you know, problems? Because several decades ago, it used to be called heart disease. Today, it's something called cancer. Number one problem. You can check it out. Number one problem in, in North America, okay? Now, here's the thing that, that whenever they check cancer patients, not 80%, not 90%, not 99%, 100% of all cancer patients are overloaded with... Acid. acid. I didn't, uh, when I first heard that, I told my, the, my staff, I go, I can't say that in front of people. Give me some backup. You know, show me somebody who's saying it. So they gave me a report, and I pulled one page from it right here. Okay? This is Dr. Otto Warburg. He received the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Prize. If you don't know what the Nobel Prize is, it's the highest award an individual can get on the planet for advancing humankind. Some people get it for, uh, you know, literature, science, peace. This guy got it for medicine. He got it for medicine because he found the root cause of cancer. You're looking at the doctor. Guess what it says all over his report. I have a whole thick one. The word over and over and over and over again. Unbelievable. And guess how he says how to help handle it. Look at that. Alkaline. Alkaline. Unbelievable. And, and I know there's different doctors in the room, and I don't know what your opinion is, but until you get one of these medals, I'm listening to this dude, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I, I'm just kidding, Dr. Casey. I know you agree, okay? But, but what I'm saying is, 
That's the highest authority I can get. And I have a staff that said, that's the highest. It's 100% fact. You can say it in front of a thousand people. So what you want to do is move yourself this way. See, I was taught that I had a normal uh, temperature, 98.6. If tomorrow I wake up and it's higher, or my kids or my wife, you know, they have like 102, 101, you got to do something about it. Well, I didn't know I also have a normal pH balance. It's 7.365, and it keeps moving up as you get older, but it doesn't warn you like a temperature. Why does it go up? Because of everything we do. The stress causes it, everything. 80% of the foods we eat okay, have acid, it is, tend to be acidic. We're not saying to stop something like salmon or blueberries that are good for you. They tend to be acidic. We're saying you need to balance it out. All right, so you need to move it on this side. But unless you're drinking this water on a daily basis, or unless you are eating broccoli for breakfast, broccoli for lunch, broccoli for dinner, or unless you're taking this green goop that one of my uh, uh, associates and, and uh, that, that they, they teach a class on alkaline, oh my God, unless you're doing one of those three, all of you are about there. Some of you are over there. Some of you are on the 55 freeway. <laughs> Why? Because we we're not taught that. We just eat, 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 right? You need to move yourself here because it's, it makes you healthier. Now, this guy right here, when I first saw this picture, world-renowned Dr. Shinya, uh, it didn't match, you know, because world-renowned means I'm supposed to know him, right? Well, he's not world-renowned for his face. He's world-renowned for his invention. You're looking at the doctor who helped invent a procedure called colonoscopy. Okay? And if you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. Every single person here will be meeting his invention. Okay? Yeah, because sometimes there's young people in the room, they don't know what it is. So I always tell them, you'll, be, you know, you'll meet his invention. You just have to be careful because someday it's going to sneak up behind you. Okay? <laughs> so that's a time release joke. Some of you will get it on the way home. All right? But this guy, right, imagine how famous that is. He, he invented the procedure where they can cut like the pal, pal or the, pal. yeah, whatever. I'm not a doctor, but instead of cutting you and stuff, he invented the procedure that goes in and cuts it and takes it out. It's called the Shinya method. Oh, my goodness gracious. He, he, he's, you know, where he's at is really strong. When you check this out, as a matter of fact, he's written several books that have sold over half a million. This one has sold over two million. It's called The Enzyme. You can get this anywhere. Now, this doctor right here, this is the biggest clue I got. He can tell you from a picture, just a picture, your diet, your age probably, your problem, your, your I mean, this, as a matter of fact, here's the biggest clue I got. He prescribes Kangen water to every single patient as part of their treatment regimen at his medical facility. Can you imagine that one? He prescribes Kangen water. As a matter of fact, he says it on his book right there. He's not an officer of our company. He doesn't work for us. He does his stuff, okay? But he bes he's been prescribing Kangen water. And you should see what's happened to the people, okay? Let me show you something here. Look at this. <clears throat> and by the way, this is after they've been cleansed. And I know it's graphic, but we got to pay attention to this. All right? This is after, I think, two days of cleansing. Look at the before, and then look at after. Is that incredible or what? Look at this one right here. This one is a 45-year-old uh, female. Breast cancer, chronic constipation. Look at the before, and look at the after. Look at this one right here. This is a 52-year-old man with prostate cancer. Look at the before and look at the after three months of treatment. Incredible. I have 100 pictures like this. All the, this side is really, oh, some of them are, I have live ones, you know, the, the, because I was sent live from Dr. Shinya. Unbelievable. Some of them have like uh, chromes, chromes, chromes. Yeah, something like that. And then the, there's another word. There's, there's another one, the divercolite. Div there, that one, okay? <laughs> and it's really like it had pockets and tears and everything, and the before and the after. I have 100 pictures. The left side is brown, bad, terrible, lump, this. The right side, every single one, pink and healthy, pink and healthy, pink and, it, it's unbelievable. 
And, and, you know, what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, we're not saying this is some kind of a miracle or anything like that, because that's not what it is. It doesn't cure, it doesn't heal, and it doesn't do any miracles for you. What it does is when you drink this water, it hydrates your body and it puts your body in a frame where your body will be able to do what it does best, which is heal itself. Because your body can do things, but, you know, we, we put so many different things in it. Now, all the books say it, okay? And when you research it, all, here, here's one. All disease come from the same root cause, too much acidity. Dr. Baruti, here's one. You're not sick. You're thirsty. Do not treat thirst with medication. Because you see, in the United States, we're a pill for every ill country. We are. And if you don't believe it, uh, here's a couple of things. Number one, who do you think the richest uh, companies in the United States are? Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. As everybody's tanking, they're hiring. As the reports in, 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 in Wall Street are gloom and doom, theirs is up, I mean, unbelievable. The health industry is incredible, all right? Because we're a pill for every ill country. You know, in Japan, when somebody gets a headache, they go, wow, oh, what caused that headache? Here they go, oh, where's the Motrin? Where's the Tylenol? You know, when you have a headache, the first thing you think of is an aspirin. That's what we do. When you got a backache, it's a don'ts, et cetera, and extra. When you have a stomachache, what's the first thing you think of? You think of Pepto-Bismol, Alka-Seltzer, uh, Purple Pill, Peptic AC, Tums. Ro people carry Tums and Rolaids with them, okay? So we're a pill, and if you don't believe that, watch the tomorrow, tomorrow, watch the young and the reckless, or the young and the hopeless, the young and the hopeless. What is it? The young and the something. Watch it, and you'll see pill ad after pill ad. In Japan, they look for the root cause. And by the way, when we were doing our research, we wanted to find out who the longest living people were in the world. You want to guess? The United Nations puts it out. You can Google it tonight. They're number one. Japanese is number one. Japanese women one, Japanese men two. They're rated number one. United States is number 38 up till today. They just did the CNN. We're still 38. 38, below Cuba, where they shoot people. <laughs> How can that be? You know what I mean? We're supposed to be more than them. It, it, and by the way, I'm, from, I'm originally from the Philippines. My country wasn't on the chart. <laughs> we were, I'm going, what, what's happening? It's because we're number 100. They only go up so far, you know, because everything we eat is acidic. But I'm not going to stop that. That's good food. What are you, nuts? Okay, have you ever been to a Filipino house? The first thing they do is try to feed you. Am I right? I, I've eaten. Oh, they try to feed you. This, this thing helps out so much, I'm telling you. So again, oh, by the way, here's the last thing. Without water, your body goes acidic. It goes into a mechanism that's going to protect itself called fat storing. That's why some people cannot lose weight. Have you ever heard somebody say, oh, I can't lose weight. I'm doing everything. Well, you're not going to lose weight. You can run from here to Los Angeles and back. It ain't going to come off. Why? It's your body. Now, let me add, when you drink the water, when you get rid of this, the, the fat goes away. Documentation beats conversation, always. How many people in the room, honestly, okay, you yourself have lost weight? Check it out. Unbelievable. The water, the, this is really some machine, all right? Now, what I'm going to do now is we're going to show you um, a demonstration, okay? And, and this is a... I like doing this part because we used to do it on a video, and the first thing I want to do is go here. Okay? I'm going to show you this demonstration. Uh, I will need some tap water, all right? And uh, now, just so the people know, the reason we use so many different waters here is because I want to make sure that you are at least using one of these, okay? So you probably recognize your brand, and if, you, and, and, and if you don't drink one of these, then you're drinking tap water, which will be here, okay? And I made some water, and the last one will be Kangen water, which is what you're drinking. And I want to show you the effects of the water, because when you see it live, you can really see what the water can do, because, you know, when you first hear about it, it doesn't make sense because water is just water, right? But if you think about it, wine is not just wine. Right. Gasoline is not just gasoline. 
there's so many different grades of things. So obviously the water, there, there are different grades of water. And uh, let me make sure I, you guys did this right. Okay, hold on, there's something wrong here. Because I cannot do this, oh, here, that's correct. This is the wrong one. Okay, let me just put this here. Okay, there, and then that. I know this well. Okay, perfect. All right, now, for the new people, as far as oxidation, in other words, ORP, this starts at 280 plus, plus 280. So up here, I put it from starting at the worst. This is the worst. And it goes all the way to the, like, the worstest, okay? <laughs> whatever. I don't know. You know, whatever. Worst, worster, worstester, really worst. I mean, it really gets bad. And then it gets to the really bad guys, you know? This is really... You know, that's, that starts out bad on that side. Now, the tap water, which is this right here, always comes out at plus 280. It comes out just like the sunny over here, okay? Now, the only time the meter ever goes to negative 300 and up is when you hit the Kangen water. It's got the highest antioxidant. Now, the second thing I want to show you is called alkaline, all right? So the alkaline part, because every book says it's healthy to be on that side. Now, this is the Sani, product of Coca-Cola, okay? And uh, where is the pH tester? Somewhere here. It was right on top. Right here, okay. Watch this, okay? This one is Aquafina, product of Co uh, Pepsi-Cola, all right? You got Smart Water. You have Fiji, Avion. This one is what I drank because I shopped at Costco. It's called Crystal Geyser, okay? Then you have the Arrowhead, the Vitamin Water, the Gatorade, the, uh, 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 this one will represent all soda, okay, the 7-Up. And then in the end, you have Kangen Water over there. All right, now, take a look at this right here. I don't know if you can see that, but take a look at that. Look at this. This is one of the top-selling brands. Product of Coca-Cola, only product sold in many different places. Their marketing is phenomenal, and look at how acidic it is. Is it acidic or alkaline? I mean, look at how far it goes. And people drink this today. Look at, look at this one, Pepsi-Cola, of course, have to compete. Look at this one. It's called Smart Water. What's so smart about that? It's so acidic. These two always come out right here. See that? Neutral. Why? Fiji and Avion are good water. However, they, have, uh, they do oxidize you, and they're not microcluster. And the last part is they have what they call, uh, I'll get it, they have what they call uh, a little bit pricey. You know, we, we tested some. I think we found seven of them that were pretty pricey, more than the rest. One was called Voss, V-O-S-S, -S, something like that, okay? And by the way, for the people, what I'm putting up here is called the pH tester, all this, this, all this does is check out the alkaline or acidity. It's the same thing that your pool man uses. Now, look at this side over here. See, look at the one I used to drink, Crystal Geyser. Look at it. It's so acidic. It's on this side. And I thought it was good, you know? Look at these ones right here. Wow. Look at this one, Gatorade. Supposed to be good for you, right? Athletes drink it. Athletes don't take it home with them. They leave it on the field. You're not going to sweat like an athlete, okay? Look at what you leave inside of you, how acidic it is. Now, soda, wow, soda's the worst. And any soda, by the way. Now, tap water always comes out neutral. Why? Uh, the government, it's government regulated. They put chlorine in the water to clean, to, to clean the germs. Right? And then they put lye, L-Y-E, to protect the pipes. Mm, you, you check it out, all right? But that's what turns it that color. Now, look at the water that you're drinking. Look at this. Look at that. Against my shirt. Wow. It is like regal, royal, purple. And all book says that is very healthy for your body. Because if you drink this water right here, this water, what will happen to you is you will start to become alkaline, all right? You're counteracting the acidity that's going inside of you. If you are acidic like this, watch what happens. Look at this. Look at that. 
Look at how you start to become alkaline more and more. It's unbelievable. And it's not the color of the water. Some people think it's the color. It's what you're drinking. Here, look at this. Look at that. See? When you drink this water and you're acidic, your body eventually becomes alkaline. Look at that. See what happens? And it's the water, okay? Now, unfortunately, when you get to these guys, uh, look at this, Gatorade. Nothing, okay? Same with Propel. Nothing. Vitamin water. Air, look at this one. This guy tries to fool you. Okay, he tries to pretend he's alkaline for a second. He's going to try to fool you. Don't blink your eyes. Okay? You notice? He, th he goes, I'm alkaline. Nope, you know you're not. Okay? Now, check out this one right here. Look at soda. Here's soda right here. Nothing. Soda is the worst for you. If you drink one cup of soda, one cup, you need 32 cups of Kangen water to neutralize the soda, the acid that's in that one cup. Four pitchers. Okay, we're not saying to stop it. We're just saying to lighten up and balance it. Soda is so acidic that, here, this is what I know. If you have a car and you pop the hood, and you see the battery cables and there's battery acid on it that you can't remove, put soda on it. All the guys know it. It'll disintegrate it, okay? If you have a stain in your driveway, oh, here's a good one. Tomorrow, go get a penny. Tonight, go get a penny, a dark penny, oxidized. Put it in soda. Tomorrow morning, you will see it's shiny. The soda has eaten through the oxidation that's been there for years. Unbelievable and then we drink it, okay? <laughs> uh, it's, it's like, you know, oh, by the way, when we were researching this, we found out the, the leading cause of death in children uh, 14 years and under in the United States is cancer. That's just a fact, okay? And the reason that, that, that threw me off is because when I was 14, none of my friends said that stuff. None of my friends said diabetes. None of my friends said all the things that the kids have today, okay? What's the diet's kids today? Kids diet today, beginning at uh, three years old. Happy meal, supersize it, big goal, make it large, that's soda, okay? Let me show you why. Because if your body is alkaline, which everything's, every, every information that I got says is you're healthy, and you put soda inside your healthy body, what will happen is your body will become acidic. You do not have a chance. And by the way, this is diluted, okay? So I'm just trying to show you, so it's very, very, this is very good information. And, and uh, you wanna, oh, by the way, if you want your kids to stop drinking soda, show them this presentation in your home two or three times. They, a lot of them stop drinking the soda. The adults keep drinking it, they don't get it, okay? <laughs> the kid, no, 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 really, the kids get it, all right? So you wanna give them the, the, you want to show this to them. Now, the next thing I want to show you is called microcluster. All right? Here we go. We're almost done. Now, this part I didn't know. The water you're drinking is tiny because what, that, what this does is it splits the water and it charges it and it becomes tiny. And for the people who don't believe that, I'm with you because when somebody first told me that, I said, water is water. All right? Well, it's not. This is called Yamamoto green tea, okay? And to make green tea is very simple. All you need to do is have a tea bag, okay? We'll do a couple of them here. And you have to have a tea bag, you have to have a cup, and then you have to have some water, okay? Now, so let's make some tea. Okay, now, question, why is that not making green tea? It's supposed to be green tea. You're missing one ingredient, heat. heat. You got to heat the water because it's too cold. Tap water, it's not, it's not going to go through the, the, the tea bag. 
When you heat water, it becomes smaller and smaller, all right? Let me ask you something. When you go to make sun tea, where do you put it out? You don't go out there and put it out in the moon, <laughs> right? You put it out in the sun. Why? The sun heat today would have been a great day. That sun would have heated that, boom, right? You notice sometimes it gets stronger. It depends on how the water is heated, okay? It's not going to penetrate. But this water is called Kangen water. It penetrates you at a cellular level. It has the ability to completely do different things in your body, okay? Look at this. I want you to see something. This, Because this was, when I first saw this, I could not believe it, all right? That that water did that. Here, check this out. It's really weird. Look at this. Look at how fast, not only does it pull out the tea, it pulls out the flavor, it pulls out the color, it pulls out the smell, and if you taste it, it's 100% green tea right there. Oh, by the way, just so you know, this is not some kind of a trick. Watch this. Same tea bag, okay? Different water. Look at that. What happened? It can't penetrate through. The water is too big. I know, I know it doesn't make sense, but here, check it out. Look at that. I mean, it's unbelievable. Am I the only one freaking out up here? <laughs> because up here, the color is like boom, 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 you know? You can make 20 of them. And it keeps pulling out. Hey, you want to have a tea party and save money? You know? <laughs> so, by the way, you know, look at, you can do 20 of them. Look at this guy. He doesn't know what to do. He's confused. That's why our motto is change your water. Change your life. I mean, it's unbelievable. So again, anyway, let's go to the third one. No, no clapping. This isn't a trick. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's like, wow, that, that's like, whew, you know. But when you start drinking it, because I was with some, uh, the, the, some, some nutritionists for some major, 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 major uh, teams out there, and they're telling me about hydration, how important it is, okay? It's not about how much water you drink. It's about how much water you're utilizing, Right? And this helps you utilize the water because it penetrates you at a cellular level. Now, the last thing I want to show you is this. Okay? How do you cook your fruits and vegetables? Because this unit, as I said before, it makes five types of water. All right? Let me show you one of the waters it makes because how do you, not cook, but uh, how do you wash your fruits and vegetables? You probably do it like I do and like everybody in this room does. Okay, I'll put this one over here. Okay, so we're going to show you something. If you press this button right here, this button down in the bottom, it will make water that comes out of here that will do what you're about to see. Okay, as a matter of fact, if you wash your fruits and vegetables, you probably always go to your sink. I don't care if you have reverse osmosis. I don't care if you have a wa water filter. It doesn't matter. You're going to go to your sink to clean the fruits and vegetables. So we're going to sort of simulate that and put some. And, and, uh, and by the way, these are very good tomatoes. I just got them uh, from pavilions. And um, OK. All right. So be good. Okay, cool. All right, let me see. Maybe we ought to do one more. Okay, do this. Okay. Okay, is that cool? All right. Now, normally you'll take tap, you'll, you'll rinse your fruits and vegetables underneath your tap water. Let's say you have a water filter. You'll still rinse it underneath the tap water. Okay? Just like that. Now, 
Let me show you this part right here. I'm going to uh, rinse the other one in what we call strong Kangen water. This is the water that comes out when you press that last button. It'll come out the top. And by the way, I pre-made some. And just so you guys know, all this is is water. It's the same water you're drinking, except it's two points higher, which makes it more alkaline. And it kind of makes it more of a cleaning agent water. And things that it does is incredible. So I'm going to rinse this one in this water right here. And then, while this is doing what it's doing, well, I want to show you, before it happens, I'm going to show you why it happens, so you know. Okay? This is called sesame seed oil. And I use dark oil because it's better for the, for the people in the back. They can see it better. Okay? And this is just like any oil. So now, OK. What have you learned in school about oil and water? Oil and water don't mix. It cannot. I don't care how many times you do this like this, it will always do that. It'll separate. There, you can see it from the back. It'll separate. I don't care what kind of liquid water you put in there, it's going to separate. Okay? But you're not drinking regular water. This is called Kangen water. All right? But it's water. Oil and water don't. What did the water just do to the oil? It emulsified it. It broke it down completely. That's why people's results are happening. Look what it does. And it's gone. It emulsified it, broke it down, not like this one. That's why when you drink the water, be careful with this one, man. <laughs> It'll make the place smell like Chinese food, OK? <laughs> it's really strong, OK? But anyway, when it goes inside of you, it has the ability to do a lot of good things, all right? Including break down things, as you see over there. Now, I want to show you what happens when you clean your water, your tomatoes, let's say, in the, in the water you do. OK? This is what you will take out normally. These have been soaking for a while. OK? Look at that. Now, I want to show you what happens if you clean your fruits and vegetables in that water. This is what you'll take out. And also, if you wash your fruits and vegetables in this water, it will last weeks longer because you're removing something that causes it to oxidize. And when I first saw that, I said, what is that? Because it ain't green tea. <laughs> you know you know what it is? It's pesticides and germicides and insecticides. So we wanted to find out, how does this work? We went up to Fresno. Jerry, uh, myself, who else is with us? God, we saw the plane that goes shh. I mean, it just, last time we saw a helicopter that it looked like a rake about from that side to that. But it's chemicals that come out. And when we asked the owners of the place what it is, it, they said pesticides. It's oil-based. And we said, what, what, what takes it off? Nothing. Why? Because the next day they irrigate, or it rains really hard. OK, I thought it rains hard, it comes off, and the plane comes again tomorrow. Rains hard on Friday, the plane comes on Monday. Rain hards on Thursday, the plane comes on Saturday. No, plane comes once. It leaves stuff that you cannot take off. And that's what, you, that's what you remove. And by the way, again, I always say documentation always, always, always beats conversation. OK? I want you to see, and uh, I want you to see that you should see what comes off some of the other vegetables and fruits. You wouldn't believe it. You should see what happens with rice. 
You should see what happens with pasta. Wow, incredible. Okay. All right, a little bit more. And then the last one here. Okay, go ahead and taste it. You know, t t I want, some of you won't be able to taste the difference. Your palate depends on your palate. But, you know, humor me. Try it. Taste it. Hey, didn't the person who brought you here tell you they were going to take you out to dinner? Here it is. Okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay? <laughs> okay. But, but taste that because always documentation. That's the best. But, but taste that. And uh, some of you will have such a good palate that you'll be able to taste the texture. So some people, it depends on your palate and how, you know. But try that out, OK? Now, if you tasted the first one, I want you to taste the way you normally clean your fruits and vegetables. OK. All right. Let's try this one. Just see if you can taste the difference. I don't know. Some people can't, you know. But I think some people will be able to. Let's try that one. OK. 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 This one. And one more. Do we have one more? One more. OK. On this side. Now, some of you might not be able to taste, but the second one is washed in water. The way you do it. It's, so, it's with soaking in water. OK? By the way, you should see what comes off of, like, there was this pre-washed, organic, ready-to-eat mushrooms. <laughs> not. Wow. <laughs> It was like brown gook. That came. You would never eat it when you see what comes out there. But that's what it takes out right there. Okay. But again, you should see the difference in taste when we did two uh, be between grapes. Incredible. Blueberries. Unbelievable. Pasta. Incredible. So. Many people still trust that bottled water is the safest and healthiest option. Most bottled water is simply tap water or spring water that is put through a process that helps clean the water, but in turn, it leaves the water dead by removing all the important qualities for which water was intended to provide. This dead water is very acidic and can negatively affect your body in many ways. The acidity of bottled water and the traces of plastic found in it are without question taking their toll on your body. The impact that bottled water has on the environment is colossal as well. Despite all of these factors, billions of expensive, environmentally detrimental, plastic leaching, acidic bottles of water are produced, purchased, consumed, and discarded every year. An average family of four can spend over $1,000 every year on health-threatening, nutrient-deficient bottled water, and all the while, they're under the false impression that this is a good, healthy decision, which is clearly not the case. Reverse osmosis water, distilled water, and many other filtered waters are also proven to be mineral-deficient and highly acidic. Most bottled waters on the market are acidic or seven or less, especially the reverse osmosis uh, and distilled water. And I cringe every time a person says to me, I drink distilled water, I drink reverse osmosis water. I get them in here and I use my little reagent test and I show them the difference between the pH of the water that they're drinking and the pH of the water from the giant, the giant water. And it doesn't matter whether it's purified, whether it's distilled, or whether it's spring water. The fact of the matter is, it's inconvenient. You're going to stores, you're buying it, you're bringing it home. That's number one. It's costly, number two. Number three, it's dead water. It's not injecting anything into your system. There's no antioxidants. It's not making your body alkaline. So it's water in a bottle 
it's overpriced. Bottled water is basically city water. Body, bottled water is placed in a soft plastic, and the plastic itself, the soft plastic, releases a chemical called phthalates. These phthalates in the body mimic estrogens, which are the female hormone. They are endocrine disruptors in the body. 100% of people have phthalates in their body and they're already being poisoned. If you continue to use bottled water and all sorts of things that come in plastic, you're adding more poisons to your body all the time. So from all reasons, you need fresh water out of, a, out of your, your alkalinizer, which is your tiet unit, and you get the best water that way. And if you really look into purified water, it's very hard to find a really good pure water. Bottled water companies are completely inferior. Um, but these water alkalizing systems are wonderful for detoxifying the body. Transformation of the water inside the ionization chamber, which reduces the cluster size for greater hydration, binds extra oxygen molecules, and converts the alkaline minerals to ionic electrolytes. Inside the electrolysis chamber, very large platinum-coated titanium electrodes, which are controlled by a dedicated microcomputer, separate the water into two parts, which leaves the machine in two streams. The first stream, about 70%, is the sought-after alkaline ionized water. This is the water we drink, enjoy, and use for cooking. The other stream, about 30% of the water, is the acidic stream, which has its own abundance of benefits. The acidic water can be used for sanitation purposes as an astringent to help keep skin beautiful or to help heal rashes or wounds.